hello guys how are you okay guys this video is going to be very uh, very interesting for you and I hope you will enjoy this video because I'm going to work with an interesting component which is a progress bar in tkinter and I will show you how can we work with it and I will also try to share some issues and their solution as well so please uh, watch entire video and do not miss anything i hope you will enjoy this okay guys so first we have to import tkinter as tk and from tkinter import everything from tkinter import ttk let's uh, create our window here when tk dot tk when dot geometry which is uh, size of our window 600 by 600 and when dot title will be progress bar and when dot main loop right now let me show you how is it looking See, this is the window I'm going to work here. I will add a, a scroll bar here, sorry, a progress bar here, and uh, uh, buttons to start and stop control, uh, control button for progress bar. Okay, so let's continue. Here we create our uh, progress bar PB tdk dot progress bar win the parent will be win of course and its maximum uh, value will be 100.0 means 100 right and uh, we have to set the variable for progress bar that variable will be used to control the value in progress bar so variable will be abc right let's pack it pad y 20 and uh, uh, let me show you how is it looking then we will work further okay let me initialize abc int war okay see there is a very small progress bar so let's increase the length of it so it's uh, it will be easily visible 400 let's check it now you can easily see the progress bar okay so progress bar provide us the three methods start stop and step start is to start the progress bar and step is to uh, step the value in progress bar or update the value in progress bar you can say and uh, stop is to stop the progress bar let me show you here pb.start pb.step and pb.stop let's try it okay you can see this uh, there is a initial value due to start and stop step sorry right so let's continue i'm removing these lines and i will add a button here button button's parent will be win text will be start progress and uh, command will be start pb right and uh, okay we have to pack it as well pad y 20 uh, let me create another button for stopping progress bar stop progress and command will be stop 
stop pb and we have to pack it so pad y and 20 sorry right now we have to create these functions as well otherwise it will give an error if we run the uh, application without these two functions because we have mentioned them pass stop pb pass right let me show you how is it looking there are two buttons which are very small so let me increase the size of one in those buttons so they will be easily visible from tginter import font here I will set the font size only so font dot font size 20 and here I will set the font size fnt font f and t let's check it you can see there are two buttons start and stop progress so let's code this button first here if we, if we simply set uh, pb dot start and pb dot step and pb dot stop let me show you how it works see this carefully on every click it updates the value you can see this right but this is not what we want so we have to fill the progress bar on single click for that I will use for loop and uh, I, I won't need these functions here because I am going to work with abc variable which controls the value in progress bar so to access abc variable which is our global variable we have to use global keyword here and here I will use for loop for i in range 0 1 0 1 so it will start from 0 and it will be ended on 100 and simply I will do here abc dot set i so it will update the value of abc which will update the value in progress bar okay so let's try it uh, see it carefully if I click this button it updated the values and it filled the progress bar but it's too quick the animation was not visible to us okay so to add animation we have to use some time delay and to use time delay we have to import time module right and here we will simply use time dot sleep 0 0.05 which will be 0 0.05 seconds now let me show you but now see carefully I want to show you something if I click this button start progress see what happens see this it is stuck the application but it will complete actually it blocked the main thread until everything is loaded that's why we could not see the animation so far if I again click this button you see application is blocked so uh, here we have to work with multi threading okay here it comes to work with multi threading in my last video I showed how we can work with multi threading that was an basic idea now I'm going to implement that in this video okay so for that we have to import threading ok 
okay and here we have to create another function guys please uh, watch entire video very carefully because uh, I'm going to show you as much as possible the options to work with uh, in uh, progress bar okay so don't miss anything okay here we create a start pb thread this function will start a new thread to prevent blockage in our application and to show the animation so this function will start the thread and that thread will run this function start pb okay so th1 threading dot thread and here we have to set target which is our targeted function start pb right and here we will use a start method to start the thread and we have to use this function name here in uh, start progress button command right so uh, let me show you now it won't block our application and uh, the animation will be visible to us you can see this it's working good right you can see the animation now let's work further we have to work with stop progress and I will also show you how can we stop progress or reset progress okay and one more thing this is horizontal progress bar we can turn it to a vertical as well by setting orient here tk dot vertical see this this is vertical progress bar and you can see this it's working right now let's code our stop progress button let me remove this we will work with horizontal bar horizontal progress bar okay guys here if I simply use pb dot stop let's see if it works see it's not working why is it not working let me show you because we have to work with uh, this variable ABC okay and there is a for loop which is running so we have to call this function from uh, stop pb and we have to give a condition here so for that let's do it I will set another variable here to stop initially it's zero okay and in stop function I will first uh, set global keyword here to access this variable and I will change its value sorry to stop to one right and here I will set the condition if to stop is equal equal to one then break the loop if we break the loop then our progress bar will be stop let me show you start stop okay but now again you can't start start it so let's make it start uh, continue or you can say make it a uh, restartable okay so here here we have to again set to stop is equal to zero the value should be zero and also global to stop to access it now let's check it start stop 
start stop again start stop but now another problem the another problem is if I click this start button it starts from zero and stop it's working fine but I want to start from here I want to continue the progress not restarting the progress okay so for that let me show you how can we achieve that here we go to restart here we will give another condition and we will work with ABC existing value okay so if ABC dot cat is greater than 0 then we have to use ABC value start well ABC dot cat else start well will be 0 right and we will use it here okay so let's try it I click this button and I stop it and then I again click this button and again stop it and then I again this click this button see it's working good now one more possible issue let me show you I run this application another possible issue you may face if you double or triple click this you see okay it's working but sometime uh, you can see uh, duplicating right so in that case make sure you are not using pb.start pb.step or pb.stop functions anywhere okay because we don't need them okay we don't need them in these functions right so i hope you are enjoying this uh, let me think if there is anything else let me see okay one more thing we can add a uh, label here to show the current value of progress bar right so for that here label win text variable abc simple is that pack and you can see this right and you can also set the uh, font here so you can easily watch it fnt see this so this is our progress bar with animation i hope guys you like the video and if you did not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and uh, don't forget to like and share my videos i will keep making more useful videos for you guys okay guys i think it's uh, enough for this video see you guys in next video goodbye